Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another deck testing video, and this time we are testing out the Psylocke Rebuild Justice deck against the second scenario in the uh, Next Evolution box, which is the On The Run scenario. So we still have to figure out which villain we are fighting this time, so I'll do that first. So. We have all the Marauders here, so I'll give them a quick shuffle, and without looking, I will pick uh, one random villain, which we are facing off, and it is uh, Archlight. Okay, so we get Archlight, and Archlight comes into play with 10 health, and uh, the rest of these we remove from the game and also we remove Arc arc light from the mutant slayer set and shuffle that into the encounter deck okay then we are done with the setup we have the hopes capture in play so every time uh, if we have a marauder minion engaged with us uh, instead of attacking Arc light will scheme, so we need to be mindful of that. But uh, probably we could uh, run a lot of uh, Psylox confused tech against Arc light just to ignore that. So every time Arc light would uh, scheme, uh, she removes a confused status card. But we'll see how that goes. So uh, still. Uh, Minding that Arc Light is a one skin, one attack with an asterisk forced in dark when Arc Light attacks you or an ally you control to confuse a character you control. Arc Light gets plus two attack for this attack. So, of course, Arc Light is also confusing us. Uh, we are set up already with Psylocke. The deck is shuffled and we have the Psy Knives uh, in play. So, these are the double sided Psy Katana Psy Knives uh, upgrades that are permanent. So that is everything, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and uh, this will be my first ever time playing Psy uh, Psylocke. I haven't tried her out at all yet, so we'll see how this goes. So we'll draw our open hand of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards. And of course, if I make... Uh, rule errors or play mistakes, just uh, leave a comment in the video. So I'm, I'm aware of those. I usually make mistakes and notice them afterwards uh, filming. So it happens when you focus on the camera, the talking and the playing at the same time. So we get a Psyonic redi uh, redirect times two, uh, directed force, upside the head, Captain Britain and Axe Bunker, so I'm, I'm getting rid of the Axe Bunker and Captain Britain. I'm not um, really interested in getting him into play early on. Two Psionic Directs. Uh, I think we could have those. Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm drawing two cards. So we get the Float Like a Butterfly and Eye Pack. Let's start uh, seeing what we can do with these cards. So, uh, this can be used in hero form. Nothing much to play in Alter Ego. So, I'll just head to hero mode. Okay, and uh, the goal is to defeat Arc Light twice and uh, not get threaded out or defeated in the process. So, I think we will. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm going to play the float like a butterfly down immediately. I'm not playing two psionic uh, redirects. I'm. Um, or should I play the upside the head? I uh, yeah. Um, a lot of new cards, so I'm a bit confused what to do here. So, 
Maybe I'm just setting up this first turn. Okay. Yeah, so... I will... Generate a resource. A mental resource to play IPAC. And maybe I, <laughs> I remember to use that later, but I'm not using it immediately. Then I will use the second one to play, and one of the Cyanic redirects to play both like a butterfly. So now um, this is max one prepare interrupt when a character you control attacks and confuses uh, attacks a confused enemy increase the amount of damage that attack deals that to that enemy by one. So I'm actually thinking of attacking. Uh, I'm actually flipping one of these over with the... Uh... Yeah. How do I flip this? Oh yeah, when... When I use them we may flip. So I'm, I'm flipping one of these over to the other side. So now my thwart is plus one and my attack is plus one. So I'm at two, two, two. That sounds good. So I'm uh, using that. Using the direct force. Oh yeah, this is a defense. I'm, I'm messing it up. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How do I want to do this? Uh, so this is still not flipped. Maybe I flip this one, so I'm, uh, I don't have to remember it. Yeah, I'm I'm just uh, hitting for. Yeah, I I flip the, this one, so I have a plus one attack, so I'm hitting for two damage. Then I will play the upside the head, and the villain is confused. I'll deal two damage. Okay, so after your hero makes a basic attack and damages an enemy, confuse that enemy if that enemy is already confused, uh, stun it instead. We'll confuse that, and we have this one card in hand, which is, uh, well, we'll save it to uh, our villain phase. So we'll ready up, we draw back up to four. Yeah, I forgot uh, Psylocke's hand is size is 4, so we get concussive blow, training regime, and direct force and psionic redirect. Uh, the villain phase starts, uh, arc like attacks. I, I think I'll defend. So, um, arc light hits us, but I'm not defending. So, uh, one, I'm, oh yeah, confuse a character you control. I'll give arc light plus two attack and I will defend. So we get plus two, so three, and we are ignoring all of that by playing this, and I'm using this. And, uh, yeah. Might as well use this and flip it over. So we ignore all of that. And then counter card is hidden in the cutter. Attached to the enemy with the fewest remaining hit points forced when any amount of damage would be to be dealt to attach enemy place it here instead. If there is at least three damage here, attached enemy attacks the player who dealt the damage just placed here. Then discard this card. Okay, well, that's a bit of a buffer, but that is everything, so uh, let's see, yeah, we also would have confused the enemy, but it's confused, so that is that round, let's go to the next round, okay, uh, well, mm, I 
I'll exhaust the eye pack, deal one face down and count the card on me, and uh, draw two cards. We get the power of mind and concussive blow. Uh, power of mind is useless, we don't have any psionic uh, traits. Okay, maybe we just play the training regimen. I'll play the training regimen. So, action exhaust training regimen, search your deck for a skill card and add it to your hand. Shuffle if you are in your form, discard one card from your hand. So I'm doing that. Um, skill cards. Uh, let's see what would be useful. Upside the head. Not that useful now. Float like a butterfly. Uh, martial arts training. That sounds good. Or psionic training. Well, that's not that needed at the moment. Uh, weapons training. That sounds better. I'll take that. Okay. We want to get the Retaliate 1 into play. Shuffling our deck and we have to discard one card. I am discarding one Concussive Blow. And we'll use Concussive Blow and Direct Force to play uh, Weapons training into play. That is our turn. We are ready up. We draw up to four. One, two, three, four. We get sonic training upside the head. Float like a butterfly. Mental detection. We'll go to the villain phase. We had one threat here. Uh, arc like attacks. And I will. Uh, Give arc like plus two attack. Yeah, last turn I think we uh, uh, also gave plus two attack, so but we uh, defended for enough, so that's okay. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm marking the retaliate so I don't forget. So I'm defending. And. Uh, Arc like hits for 3 plus 3 is 6. So uh, we defend for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we don't take any damage and we retaliate for 1. And uh, when any amount of damage would be dealt to the attached enemy, so we place that there. Okay, and then we get the encounter cards. So we get mutant slayers. And Riptide. And Riptide has patrol. Okay, so Mutant Slayer reads each Marauder minion gains Quick Strike. So this came into play before this, so this gains Quick Strike. So Riptide hits us for 1 plus Force Endurance when Riptide attacks you or an ally you control. Choose place two threats on the main scheme and one threat on each side scheme. Or Riptide gets plus two damage. I'll give the damage. I don't. Uh, I haven't taken any damage yet, so we're okay with that. Okay. So Riptide hits us for three damage. Okay. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Oh yeah, and Riptide received one damage from the Retaliate. But yeah, let's continue. Uh, I will uh, go to... So I'll use uh, Psy Katana to play Psychic Training and flip it. So now I can ignore the patrol keywords and guard keywords. And... Uh, I'm not using that this round. Uh, 
I'm using the other side katana, flipping it over and uh, upside the head. Now float like a butterfly. Play mental detection. So remove one threat from a scheme. For each synapse you control, remove two additional threats from that scheme. For each side katana you control, draw a card. So we control two synapses. Uh, so yeah, I'm just getting rid of the mutant slayers. And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to four. Oh yeah, we all. Uh, I'm discarding this one. So we get telepathy, martial arts training, mental detection, and the power of mind. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, Should I go to Alter Ego instead? No. Okay, uh, I'm uh, defending against Arc Light. So I'm taking the Confused. So one plus. You are stunned. Okay, that's bad. But uh, we don't take any damage and we retaliate for one. So that goes onto the hidden in the cutter. Oh no. Uh, let's back up. We are not defending because uh, Arclight is uh, scheming. So we uh, one plus one is two. Yeah, because we have a Marauder in play. No, <laughs> we have the Confused. I'm I'm messing it up. So we remove the Confused. So this didn't even happen. So actually, Ruckus, co Ruckus comes into play because this guy hits us, so I'll depend on that. Uh, so we give it plus one attack, so like so, and retaliate one. Okay. And uh, we didn't retaliate there. Okay, so this guy is a nasty boy, teamwork, nasty boy. Uh, when revealed, stun each character you control, so we are still stunned. That sucks. Okay, well, that is everything, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I, I, I have too many enemies on me and I can't get rid of them. So I'm playing mental detection using... No. Okay, I'm playing down the telepathy. Mm -hmm. We need to spend two. So I'm I'm using the down. Yeah, I, I can't play any anything good here. So I'm just putting down the martial arts training also. I'm just thinking what can I really do here? I'm stunned and confused. Yeah, I might as well use the power of the mind and mental detection to get rid of this. And that's our turn. Uh, we'll go... Uh, let's see if we lose, because Alter Ego, so our client is 1 plus boost, and 3, 4, 5... Yeah, we would lose. We can't go to Alter Ego, so this is a bit of a pickle here. How do we do this even? Okay, I, need, I think I need to start discarding the training. So we're ready up, we draw up to four. One, two, three, four. Fury of Blades, uh, Telepathic Suggestion, Angel and Telepathy. So finally something useful, maybe we can 
bounce back next round. Okay. We go to the villain phase. We add one here. Uh, arc light schemes for uh, one plus one is two. We're pretty close. And riptide attacks. We can't do that, so we give the plus two attack. And uh, mm, I am defending. I have plus three in defense, so we don't take any damage and we deal one uh, retaliate here. I'm discarding this ready, and I'll just take one damage from Rockus. Encounter card is uh, Bashwa. When defeated, the player who defeated the scheme searches the same counter deck and discard pile for a Marauder minion and puts that minion in play, engage with them, shuffle. Okay, well that's not that bad at the moment, but it is not uh, annoying. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, we are probably not attacking. I think I'll play... Uh, Angel this turn, but first we will uh, thwart and we ignore patrol, so we thwart for two, three here. Then I will play Angel using this. I'm also Flipping them over, and I'll also put the uh, telepathy out. Then uh, I'll ready Silo. Then Angel and Silo will defeat. Well, uh, let's see. Silo has a three attack, so I'm just defeating Ruckus. Because I have the katanas in play. Oh no, uh, I'm just removing this stun. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Ruckus took one retaliate, so Angel is able to defeat Ruckus on his own, and we are exhausted because we did that. So, I'm keeping these two in hand. And uh, we are confused. Also discarding this when we uh, scheme, so we confuse an enemy. Because uh, Arc Light is scheming. Weapons training, we are keeping that in play. Okay. We ready up. We draw two cards up to four, so direct force, fury of blades. Okay, and... Uh, We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, Arc light schemes, but is confused. Uh, Riptide attacks and uh, 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 uh. I will defend. So I'll take one damage. I'll give the Riptide a uh, Uh, plus two attack. So three minus two is so, and uh, Riptide is defeated by the Retaliate. Uh, we get an encounter card, which is Chimera. And Chimera has the patrol. Okay. Well, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Let's see. I think this round we will play Fury of Blades. I'm using these. I think I can use only one at a time. I think I misplayed that a couple of times already, but it is what it is. I'm using direct force, telepathic suggestion to play uh, Flurry of Blades and uh, deal two damage to an enemy for each Psy energy control. Choose an enemy and confuse it. For each Psy Katana you control, choose an enemy and deal two damage to it. And 
no way to confuse anybody, so we'll just defeat Chimera. And uh, Angel will hit what two. So we remove this, but now. Maybe we won't attack yet. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll just vote for one here and ready. Okay, and uh, we keep that one, two, three more cards. We go to the villain phase, we add one here. Arc like attacks, I will defend. So, we are, and I will confuse Angel. So, one plus one, we don't take any damage, we retaliate for one. Encounter cards, we get two. Uh, advance, that is bad, and let's resolve that. So, one plus one, and if the villain is attacking, no. So, we are at six. Then we get a tag team. When revealed, it's more our minion engage with you, activates against you, or discard seven cards from the top of the encounter. Deck put the topmost Marauder minion into your counter, discard pile into the engage with you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The topmost Marauder is uh, Blockbuster. And he has card. Okay. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Yeah, uh, this should be ready, but uh, let's see. Um, what can we do here? I think we are playing the Glory of Blades again. I'm using Lay the Trap, Telepathy, and one of Psy Katana. So we deal just defeat Blockbuster. And uh, that is basically it. I'll discard this draw. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Power of the mind, upside the head, flurry of blades, and telepathic suggestion. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we are one threat. We are one threat away from losing this game. Not looking good. So arc light attacks. I will. I will defend. And I will uh, give it plus two. So we are defending plus two. So five uh, against. So we take three damage. Yeah, I think this game is pretty much over. This gets removed and Arc Light attack, so Angel defense. And I'll confuse. Well, I'll just keep the attack. So plus two, so Angel is defeated. Encounter cards are in <laughs> inhibitor color and assault, so we are dead. Okay, well, uh, let's play it out. So I'll. Confuse myself and arc light attacks, and we are dead. So, mm, yeah, uh, that didn't go as planned. Um, I think this scenario with this breeder deck, I wasn't able to get allies into play, which would have helped me to uh, fight better. Of course, if I could have uh, gotten the confused mechanics going, I could have went to Alter Ego and get a bigger hand and etc. But it was not meant to be. But yeah, 
I, I definitely need to practice this, uh, playing uh, Psylocke a bit more uh, to uh, correctly get get cards out. We got a huge amount of upgrades in, and supports in play, but uh, they didn't help us at all. Well, uh, some did and some didn't do anything, so we could have spent those resources somewhere else. But uh, this is uh, playing a uh, new hero blind. Uh, usually how it goes, you have to learn how to play the hero before you can uh, start <laughs> seeing good results. But yeah, uh, still Psylocke seems like a really fun character to play and maybe after some deck building I can make a quite focused Psylocke deck for either thwarting or uh, dealing damage. Now it's I think uh, a bit over place with this previous deck but yeah, still um, I'm, I'm enjoying Psylocke, so hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.